There are many accessories in Blox Fruits, and deciding which one to use can be a bit confusing. So in this video, I'll be telling you the top 5 best accessories in the entire game. Before we start, if you're here to decide what accessories to use for sea events, I recommend you go watch this video, and not this one. Now, let's begin. Before we get on to the main list, I'd like to give an honorable mention to the black cape accessory. Most of the accessories that will be mentioned in the video can't be obtained in the first C, so this is an honorable mention for the first C players. To get this accessory go to the Marine Fortress Island, and go to this specific watchtower. Go down the ladder and an NPC will sell you the accessory for 50,000 money. The buffs of this accessory are, plus 5% universal damage, plus 100 health, and plus 100 energy. The buffs are really solid for how cheap it is, making it the second best accessory for the first C. Anyway that's it for the honorable mention, let's move on to the main list. For top 5 on the list, it's the cool shade accessory. This accessory can be obtained by defeating the cyborg boss, who's located at the Fountain City Island. You have a 1% chance to get this accessory when you defeat him, so you may have to defeat the boss a couple of times till you finally get it. Now. The buffs of this accessory are, plus 7.5% universal damage, plus 17.5% movement speed, plus 100 energy, and plus 100 health. This is a really solid accessory with good buffs, so make sure to get it. Alright for top 4 on the list, it's the Pale Scarf accessory. This is one of the most popular accessory choices for PvP, as one of its buffs increases your instinct range by 10 times. To get this accessory, you need to defeat either the Cake Prince or Doking Raid boss. To spawn the Cake Prince, you'll need to defeat 500 enemies located specifically on the Cake Island. You can see how many NPCs you've defeated by talking to the Drip Mama NPC. Once you defeat 500 enemies located on the Cake Land, he'll ask if you want to spawn the portal. If you want to spawn the Doking, it's the same process, except the person who says yes to spawn the portal must have a sweet chalice. After defeating either boss, you will get the Pale Scarf and some other stuff depending on what boss you defeated. The buffs of this accessory are, plus 15% blocks fruit slash sword damage, plus 2 instinct dodges, and times 10 instinct vision range. The only con of this accessory is that the times 10 vision range applies to only players and not NPCs, otherwise your screen would be covered with name tags. Other than that, this is a really good accessory, especially for PvP, for top 3 on the list, it's the Hunter Cape Accessory. This is a very versatile accessory, being great for both PvP, grinding, and even a bit decent for hunting sea events. This accessory can be obtained by defeating an elite pirate, with a fairly common drop chance. Unlike bosses, elite pirates don't always spawn at the same location, as they spawn at different islands located in the third sea. The best and easiest way to know when, and where an elite pirate has spawned is to talk to this NPC who's located at the castle on the sea island. The elite pirates spawn every 10 minutes, and if he says this, it means they haven't spawned yet. However, if they have spawned, he'll tell you the island they're at, and you'll just have to search the island till you find the elite pirate. Anyway after you defeat the elite pirate, you'll have a pretty common chance to get the hunter cape. The hunter cape can be obtained in three different colors, black, green, and red. They all give the same buffs, so just pick whatever cape color you prefer, it won't change the buffs. Now, the buffs of this accessory are, plus 10% melee slash sword slash gun damage, plus 80% movement speed and plus 750 health. I'll say it once more, regardless if you equip the black, green, or red colored hunter cape, the buffs are all the same. So yeah, the hunter cape is a great accessory, as it greatly increases your speed which is very useful, as well as other buffs. Just a quick con is that once you get used to using accessories like this which greatly increase your speed, every other accessory feels slow. That's a pretty simple con slash side effect, so let's move on. Now, the second best accessory in the entire game are the Swan Glasses. This accessory is very versatile, being a good pick for PvP, grinding sea events, and a great pick for grinding. To get this accessory, you first must be level 1000, and have a fruit that's worth over 1 million money. If you're level 1000 or higher, go to the mansion located on the hill at the Kingdom of Rose Island. Inside the mansion will be this NPC, and if you're level 1000 plus, he'll tell you to give him an expensive fruit. You must give him a fruit worth 1 million or higher, 
I recommend a fruit like Quake, as it's spot on the value of 1 million. Also, he won't give back the fruit you gave him, so make sure you don't give him a valuable fruit such as Leopard. Once you completed that, you'll unlock access to Swan's room, and here's where you enter it. The Swan boss spawns here every 30 minutes, and has a 2.5% chance to drop the Swan glasses. It took me around 20 to 25 server hops of defeating this boss to finally get this accessory, but maybe you'll be more luckier than me. Anyway, the buffs of this accessory are, plus 25% movement speed, plus 8% damage, minus 8% skills cooldown, plus 8% defense, plus 250 energy, and plus 250 health. Yeah, it's got a lot of buffs, making it arguably the most versatile accessory in the game. Anyway yeah, let's now move on to the best accessory in the game. For top 1 on this list, the best accessory in the game, it's the pilot helmet. This is the fastest accessory in the entire game, buffing your speed by 130%. That buff alone makes it top 1 on the list, as movement speed buffs are in my opinion the most important buff types. Sure, damage buffs are nice, but they don't make much of a difference unless it's in the 15%. Also, Pilot Helmet plus Transform Kitsune is the fastest movement in the game, even faster than light. Getting this accessory is pretty simple, you have a 10% chance to get it after defeating the stone boss. The stone boss is located at the port town island, and he's the first third sea boss, so he'll be easy to defeat. He has a 10% chance to drop the accessory upon defeat, so yeah. Now, the buffs of this accessory are, plus 130% movement speed plus 10% faster health regeneration, plus 250 energy, and plus 250 health. So yeah, the buffs aren't that insane, but it's the movement speed buff that matters. Because of that speed buff plus health regeneration, it's excellent for PvP and grinding, especially for booty users. And yeah, in my opinion, those are the top 5 best accessories in the game. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing, it'd help me out greatly. Anyway, bye.